گر فر دوست بر روح زمین است امین است و امین است و امین است و کشمیر ایٹ فیلس یو ود اور فرام یور لگژریس سی ویو اپارٹمنٹ ایٹ مائٹ لک لائک اے ڈریم لینڈ بٹ ان ریالٹی ایٹ از کولڈ اینڈ ایٹ از آلسو فار فرام آل ماڈرن ایمنٹیز انکلوڈنگ موبائل کوریج And that raises a question, where does the balance lie? An equilibrium like the Mercedes EQE SUV establishes. In this 500 spec, the twin motor setup will propel it from 0 to 100 in under 5 seconds and that too without any tailpipe emissions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of proper electric SUVs from Mercedes-Benz. When Mercedes first introduced their electric SUV in India, we dismissed it, and understandably so. It was an electrified GLC, not designed as an electric vehicle from scratch, because of which it had its fair share of problems, from ground clearance to cabin space, range, and even aesthetics. They then brought the EQB. a promising product but with limited availability and a high price tag it was hard to take it seriously in india today an electric suv from mercedes finally makes sense it is sizable it is luxurious and it is poised to take on the competition in the form of the audi q8 e-tron and also the bmw ix it's been launched at a price of 1.39 crores which makes it really tempting mercedes benz is introducing 10 year warranty with the battery pack and also their service packages are extremely delightful expensive looking exteriors checked in fact the detailing here is so intricate just look at the nose from a distance this looks like an ordinary panel on an electric vehicle but if you come closer you'll notice stars and that level of detailing exists through the rest of the car as well the intricate detailing in the headlamps resembles fine jewelry while the tail lamps exhibit a seamless flowing stroke of red paint spanning the car's width Now interestingly the bonnet does not open just like other Mercedes EQ products and that is to keep the design aerodynamic very much in line with the design philosophy. If you're wondering where does the washer fluid go? Right here. Don't mistake this to be a charging point. I did warn you. charge would return 550 kilometers of electric driving range which means city to city chauffeur driving is going to be a breeze and once you're here in the back you can adjust your own temperature and enjoy these plush seats now i know the exteriors might suggest the cabin to be a little too snug but in reality it's got all the space that you would ever need and in typical e class fashion the ride quality is sublime it sweeps you off your feet just like the beauty of kashmir The secret lies in the air suspension, providing a sensation of floating on air, quite literally. You can fine-tune the settings to match your mood, and thanks to the airbags, the ones in the suspension system, you can adjust the ride height by 25 millimeters. Now, while there is an off-road mode available, it's hard to imagine this EQE venturing into the wild and uh, damaging its expensive paint. However, its real strength lies in its all-weather capabilities, and by that I mean whether it is snowing or whether you are crossing a stream on your way to the summit, you can be rest assured of this car's capabilities. The driving experience is extremely sedated and relaxed. You're constantly reminded of this excess weight that you're carrying around, especially through the steering response. But having said that. This is a quick car. In fact, blistering fast when it comes to straight line acceleration. And all of those electronics present, they do help control its body weight quite well. It wasn't built for high intensity driving and that it shows. It is a very capable long distance mile muncher, an electric tourer in that sense. 
This is how successful people arrive in life. Subtly but surely. Quietly but with lots of elegance. Sophisticated yet so soothing. That's the kind of balance the EQE strikes at multiple levels. When you enter Kashmir, it's like entering a painting that comes to life. Question is, what would you have part of this painting? A Mercedes Benz for sure.